Three things God really is in control of. One of the unique aspects of being human is that we can exert more control over our lives and the world around us than any other living being. Despite the unparalleled control anyone can exert over their body, their context, and their personal slice of life, it seems the more control people exert, the more anxiety they experience. Some fears are considered irrational, while others are very much rooted in the practical realities of life in a fallen world. While God is outside of space and time, he sees our problems as we experience them, and he wants people to rest in him, not to be driven by anxiety or fear. He gave humanity his written word, the Bible, to instruct and communicate his will, but also to provide comforting truth. It is full of repeated assurances that he is in control and that there is no need to fear if our trust and faith is in him. For the believer, there are wonderful guarantees of material and spiritual provision, of justice, of mercy, and so much more. God is in control of everything, so this list is not exhaustive, but it is meant to inspire and remind anyone experiencing anxiety that there is someone who wants to carry those burdens with you and to walk alongside you. Here are three things over which God has control. 1. Your design and your body. The human obsession with the body has always been around, but it seems to have been exacerbated by social media and the increased attention on sharing our lives with others. People become dissatisfied with their noses, their thighs, the color of their hair, and begin to seek to control those things. It isn't necessarily wrong to change parts of your body. However, some people begin to obsess over elements of themselves that are out of their control or begin to obsess over their body to a degree that it becomes unhealthy. For example, some people go to extremes to break their limbs to change their height or intentionally maim themselves because they become convinced they should have been born with a disfigurement or disability. Some simply pursue so much plastic surgery they inflict permanent injuries onto themselves. God made you to be you. While there isn't a sin in dyeing your hair, using color-changing contacts, or maybe making small changes to the body, when it becomes an obsessive anxiety, it is controlling you, not your creator. Whenever insecurities begin to turn into anxieties, turn to God and take comfort that he made you exactly who he wanted you to be. Isaiah 43 verse 7, everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. 2. Your source of food slash provision. Across the world, many people struggle to feed themselves. Because this world is fallen, there will always be hardships like famine and starvation, but that does not mean God does not love and provide for the basic needs of people. In fact, there are many times in the Bible where he does so. Sometimes it is through the mobilization of government through the workings of people he puts in power. God used Joseph being enslaved in Egypt to bring him to a place of power and to create provision so there would be food during a seven-year famine. Genesis 47 verses 13 to 27. In other cases, he provided miraculously, such as when it rained manna from heaven for the Israelites. Exodus 16. God sent the prophet Elijah Ravens to help sustain him when he was in the wilderness, experiencing extreme fear, 1 Kings 17 verses 2 to 6. God still provides in those ways today. Rely on the Lord for your daily bread and provision, even when it seems impossible. Psalm 37 verse 25, I have been young, and now I'm old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken or his children begging for bread. 3. The Future Perhaps the thing people worry about the most that is completely out of their control, no matter how hard they try, is what is coming in the future. What will happen to the world? What about the next election? How will I pay this bill? What if all my friends decide they hate me tomorrow? What will I do if my spouse cheats on me? How can I guarantee my kids will grow up to do what is right? Even Christians easily succumb to the fear of the unknowable future. When we try to make ourselves the locus of control, we will always fail because we cannot really plan for the future since it is impossible for people to know what will happen in the next five minutes, let alone tomorrow or a century from now. God does know the future as he is Alpha and Omega, beginning and end. While there are many things people can exert control over, it is important to relinquish anxiety about the future to God since only he knows what is coming. Philippians 1 verse 6, and I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ.